Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob channel and I want to welcome all the new subscribers and uh, today we're going to uh, build a floating floating raft, hydroponic floating raft. Uh, it's going to be 4x4 four four, and uh, we're going to construct that for the greenhouse and it's going to be kind of my prototype. The other problem I'm having today is with my uh, harvest right. For some reason, my uh, uh, pump is uh, not pressurizing or taking out <laughs> taking out the pressure of uh, uh, air in here, and so it's been airing. So I changed the oil in it, uh, and we're running through the cycle again. And we'll see what happens. So, uh, uh, yeah, other than that, I'll start diving into the books and figuring out what's going on. It's another windy day, but warmer today, so forgive me uh, for the wind sounds. So, the way we're going to construct this box uh, is using 2x6s. So, that's what I got here. I'm doing a 4x4 box. I have a whole bunch of uh, leftover plywood from the construction when they were doing our siding. So, I'm going to throw these together, cut them first and uh, make a box. Alright guys, so I got my four foot cut. And these are 45 foot cuts that will be in the inside to make a perfect 4x4 box. Which should fit half of that sheet perfectly, hopefully. Well, there you go. That's the new box. It's upside down, but uh, the next thing I got to do is, guess what? Go to Home Depot again. So I need to get some cinder blocks to put it on. And I got to line it with, hopefully, I can get a hold of, or I got some, six-ply uh, or mill um, plastic. And uh, we'll do that one in the greenhouse. But Let's take a look at the greenhouse and I'll show you what we're going to do. We're in the greenhouse now and so what I want to do is put four 4x4 four four, uh, tanks in the center of this. And so I want to make sure and just build one, kind of see what kind of problems we'll have. But uh, with four of them in here we still should have lots of walking space in here and be able to grow a lot of leafy greens. So uh, looking forward to that. But I gotta get more supplies like normal. And of course, since I came out here, the chickens needed food. And I uh, gave them food, cleaned their water, and they're very happy chickens again. And they've been giving me almost 10 eggs a day now. Earlier in this video, I told you that I was having trouble with my harvest right. So I ran it again, changed the oil, uh, and uh, I still got an error. However, I think I told you in earlier videos, we actually had the wrong pump sent to us. So they sent us the one I ordered, which was a oilless pump. So I've got that running, and I thought I'd let you see it, because it's a real... I thought the other pump was quiet, but this one is incredibly quiet. And uh, so far it's running, I'm not getting an error yet. Looks like everything's good, but look how quiet this thing is. It is very, very quiet. Amazing. And that's my old pump right there. 
and uh, I'll get the manuals out and troubleshoot it and I'm hoping it's something silly but uh, yeah I was really glad that I had the other pump and uh, that's not normal uh, they just sent us a wrong pump and then replaced our the one that we paid for which was the most expensive uh, the oilless pump they sent that to us and had us keep this one and I'm glad I did that I'm also going to do a quick follow-up on my fish I had two koi fish in here one was yellow and one was like an orange one uh, I've been able to verify the yellow one really well but I have not seen the second one but I haven't seen the remnants of a second <coughs> second one sorry uh, I've been working around a lot of dust so I don't know if I lost a fish or not so we're hoping uh, he's just been hiding well I'm in my uh, studio right now and I thought I'd show you something you might get a kick out of you've probably seen us do our chicken cam and you probably might wonder how I'm doing it and we're doing it with a security camera system so at any time even at night I can actually see my chickens and how they're doing and how the eggs are doing uh, if there's any problems also a chance to uh, see if there's any rodents or anything like that and I don't have any rodent problems but I watch them right here in the screen over here as you can see and I can uh, enhance the picture I can pull uh, the pictures up on my computer which is how we do the live cam for you guys so I thought maybe you'd get a kick out of that my security system can handle eight cameras I've only got four so I'm actually going to get more cameras to actually do security for the house so uh but i'll keep the chicken uh, cameras in there because it's kind of fun to see how they're doing and uh we actually witnessed uh chickens laying their eggs and it's also a good chance to make sure i don't have any predators and i can uh, turn on the sound so i can hear what's going on in out there it's kind of fun um i've enjoyed having the cameras out on the on the chickens so this is actually the workstation i use and uh this bigger uh, screen is my main screen and then I have a secondary screen over here uh, where I uh, uh, do a lot more of my work for the radio stations and stuff but basically uh, yeah this is it this is the podcasting stations we got to and uh, yeah so <laughs> you might say we're high-tech rednecks here the last thing I was going to sh uh, show you here is poor poor bell she's still uh, in her cycle so she's still wearing her Mickey Mouse pants and uh, she actually does really good with them she's a good pup um, but uh, after she's done with this cycle uh, I'm gonna schedule her to be uh, spaded uh, we're not trying to get puppies but uh, it'd be fun to have puppies but we got enough projects around here without worrying about puppies so as soon as she's past her cycle um, it's getting time to get her set up she's just over a year old which I wanted to wait till she was over a year old because Cinder, the chocolate lab, I had her spaded quite early. And she had, and some of you might recall from older videos, uh, has a uh, bladder issue. And sometimes that when you have purebreds and they get spaded too early, uh, that's a common occurrence. And so she has to take pro in every day. And uh, she's been fine. But for eight and a half years, I've been <laughs> buying pro in. So, uh, we thought we'd make sure that make sure she was plenty uh, mature and uh, and get her uh, spaded and, and sometimes they say when you do it too young it could stunt their growth too and with German Shepherds you want to make sure they have strong bones and strong hips and she's a straight back but uh, uh, you still want to be careful so uh, poor little bell here which likes to help me out in the, in the office she's a great dog but it's time to make sure that she doesn't have puppies <laughs> and she's probably tired of the diapers <laughs> so anyway uh, that's the status with Belle so guys I'm gonna wrap this video up however um, let you know that I missed the UPS guy here and he usually did, leaves my packages at the gate which has my strawberry kind of upsetting so I, hopefully I get them by tomorrow and uh, it's nice and warm but still windy you probably hear the wind a little bit i apologize and uh but it is a beautiful day and uh tomorrow uh sherry's 
going to be home. We're going to uh, finish the towers and get the rest of the soil put in those. Hopefully plant my strawberries. Add our first ma master blend to the tank uh, for the towers. And install our first floating raft and the uh, greenhouse. And maybe build another another one. I'm going to pick up a little, couple more 2x6s. As long as I'm not buying a lot of lumber, I'm not whining too much, but I need more two by sixes. So that's what's going on. I want to thank you very much for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share your our, our videos and your videos uh, all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate that. So guys, and by the way, I want to thank all the new subscribers for coming in. And uh, please take the time to leave comments. We'd love to uh, meet you guys. Uh, we have met a few people for, um, on the ranch, which for those of you that live in Oregon know what I'm talking about, and uh, have been very happy about uh, hearing about our hydroponics. So uh, thank you for watching and thanks for your comments. So guys, have a great day, be safe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.